It is official, Elgu has launched the Centauri Carbon 2 on their China website. With this being said, I do want to state a few things before we go ahead and take a closer look at the Centauri Carbon 2. Okay, so I think this is very important to let you guys know because at the end of the day, Elgu has been up to a few things when it comes to their website and their listings for the original Centauri Carbon as well as the Centauri. It was brought to my attention that the original Centauri, which was the 199 base version, has been completely removed from the United States website. Now, a lot of you guys, if you remember, this was the 199 version of the Centauri. This was essentially just like the P1P, but it was 199, which was absolutely insane for a Core XY. And a lot of people were questioning, how can you afford to get it that cheap? Well, it turns out you probably can't. Elgu had sent official cancellation emails back in July, but they didn't really make it clear if the product was completely canceled, at least to me and a lot of others. So they were offering people the option to upgrade to the Elgu Centauri Carbon, and you would essentially pay the difference minus like a $30 discount, or you could get a coupon to their website. So this was long speculated, and pretty much everyone figured that the Centauri was being canceled, but if you look on the United States website, there is no mention of the base version of the Centauri at this point. They've completely removed it. Along with this, they've also removed any mention of multicolor with the Centauri Carbon. This was a huge selling point to a lot of people, and I believe the one reason that many people actually bought this, it was a Core XY offering multicolor capability for less than $300 or at $300 plus shipping. That was an insane deal, and they said, hey, I don't need multicolor at this point, but I like Elegoo, I like their products, I'm gonna go ahead and go with this. And honestly, it was one of the best printers at the price point currently, even now. But when you add multicolor in that mix, it turns out to be a really good 3D printer. However, they've been kind of non-committical about the multicolored system. They've mentioned that they're still working on optimizing it on their website. And the latest we have from Elgu officially is just a blog post saying, hey, look, we're still working on it. They added the multicolor port. So there is reason to believe that they're still working for the multicolor for the original Centauri Carbon. Why would they add that port if they had no intention of doing so? I don't know. <laughs> I guess we will see until we get an official comment from Elgu, hey, it's coming or it's not. It's still all speculation at this point. However, with them releasing the Centauri Carbon 2, that leads a lot of people to believe that they're just going to scrap the whole thing and they're not gonna come out with the multicolored system for the original Centauri Carbon because the Centauri Carbon 2 now has a lot of upgrades that we're gonna talk about and show off here. There is an unboxing video and also the official listing on Elgu China's website. The last thing I will note about the Centauri Carbon is that a lot of people are speculating that the multicolor system is not coming to it because instead of updating the image to say coming soon for the multicolor system, they completely removed all of the multicolor like references or anything having to do with multicolor when it comes to the Centauri Carbon. Now look, I might be forgetting to mention a lot of things when it comes to Elegoo, the Centauri, the Centauri Carbon, but in the gist of things, that is where we are at today. So I will be covering the Centauri Carbon too. However, if they announce that they're not giving multicolor to the Centauri Carbon, I will not be purchasing one or even looking at buying any Elegu products in the future. But until we actually have official word that they're not supporting multicolor for the Centauri Carbon, there's no reason to get angry. There's no reason to like pitchfork over things. Yes, it may look ugly, but let's calm our horses down and go with it. And then until we actually have an announcement, we go from there. However, I do understand if you are angry because it is eight, nine months later and we still don't have multicolored system which unfortunately is one of the risks when it comes to pre-orders and I will make a separate video about, hey, you should not pre-order anything in the technology field. The last thing I will note here when it comes to the Centauri Carbon 2 is the way that Elegoo remedies this will play a major factor in if I continue to support them as a business. I do love their filament, it's relatively cheap. I get it on the regular off Amazon for less than $12, sometimes $10 a roll, and it's been very consistent for me. I rotate between them and Sunloo. So we'll we'll handle it whenever they announce it and we'll go from there. So 
let's go ahead and get into the Centauri Carbon 2 listing and what I've seen. So real quick thing to note guys, a lot of these listing images may be in Chinese because I put them into Gemini and this was the result. It only translated one line of the image and I was like, okay, well, can you translate the whole image for me? And then it gave me this, a picture of a city, which I believe is Chicago. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, I was stuck uh, looking at the Reddit post. So I'll link you guys to the Reddit post where they're all translated. Um, and that's where I'm gonna be kind of referencing on my laptop here. But I'll show the images that I'm talking about up on the screen. And just by me talking, you guys will know what I'm talking about and what, what they actually are. I just didn't wanna use this user's images. I want to try to translate them on my own, but I will leave the Reddit link down below if you want to see the translated images if I wasn't able to complete it while editing. All right, so getting into this, guys, the first thing we will see is that they're still using what we saw already on a lot of the renders, the Flash Forge version of the multicolored system. It does look like it's potentially improved, improved upon. It does look a little sleeker, like I get it. We have that Stairlight container on the top that a lot of people don't like, but it is what it is. Also to note, this system is very reliable. I had no issues when I was using it on the Flash Forge A. D5X, so take that as you will, it does work. It produces a little bit more waste, not much, like we're talking like less than five grams per print, depending on how long the print is, but you know, we'll see, maybe they optimized it and maybe it works a little bit better for them. Another thing here on this image is that they took into consideration the sound. So when it comes to the Centauri Carbon, the sound is ridiculous. I know a lot of you guys were downplaying it, like when it's shut, it doesn't sound them. Guys, it is a loud 3D printer. So it does look like they have also improved upon that and taken a lot of people's feedback into consideration when it comes to the Centauri Carbon. It does look like it has improved airflow to keep heat in. I did see in another part of the listing that they introduced a HEPA filter like the G13 or G12, whatever it is. The same thing that's on like the Chidi Q2. So a lot of that stuff is gonna be very similar. I think all of the 3D print companies are now implementing that. Now moving on, we also have a 350 C Celsius degree hot end, which is a notable improvement. I believe the original Centauri was 300. Um, that's pretty crazy because I think the only other 3D print manufacturer offering that on a cheaper machine is the Chidi Q2, which theirs goes up to 370. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty hot, hot end, you know? It also looks like the build plate goes up to 110 degrees Celsius with a whole bunch of that, those airflow improvements. With this also, it does look like there's a dynamic pressure sensoring where it's advertising this was not available on the Centauri Carbon. So they're adding a lot of features here that were not on the Centauri Carbon. When I think of the Centauri Carbon, I think of just a manual printer there's not much ai there's no ai capability it's just you put in the g code and as long as your stuff is tuned it's going to operate exactly what you told it nothing's going to stop it from destroying itself nothing's going to improve itself it's not going to make adjustments on the fly the only thing there is the auto leveling it does exactly what you tell it to do it has a film and runout sensor everything is very manual i'm assuming that the camera is updated it does say remote monitoring which is not available currently on the centauri carbon unless you use Octo Anywhere, I think it's called. Um, I don't set that up because I don't want to, you know, I don't know, I, I'm just kind of lazy. Uh, when it comes to that, it does look like they have an improved poop shoe, improved scraper when it comes to the nozzle. Also, we have a total head filament cutter. I'm assuming that the filament runout sensor, I didn't see anything on it on here, but of course it's going to be in a different location than the original Centauri Carbon. Um, let's move on. They said they made some improvements to the front head cover, which a lot of people see explode and throw into the middle of their room. So there's a lot of things to like when it comes to the Elegoo Centauri Carbon 2. It's just that it's officially announced. And again, I will leave links in the description below. Some of the, like the comparison charts I already actually showed on one of my previous videos talking about the Centauri Carbon 2. So it just, they're just officially announcing it at this point. So. Just to recap my thoughts on this, I think it's a great improvement over the Elegoo Centauri. Now, if this was any other way that they came out, so if they came out with this next year and they said, hey, look, here's the Centauri Carbon 2, you already have multicolor, you already have these things. I, I think the only thing holding me back by saying like, hey, this is going to be awesome. Like this is a $400 printer. 
Um, you know, even if they offered it for four hundred dollars, I, I guess I'm saying this is like a you know a heck of a deal because the only other printer comparable to a lot of these specs is the Chidi Q2 at five hundred dollars or four hundred and fifty dollars on sale or whatever it is, right? Um, so the only thing that I'm hesitant about this is that they advertised the multicolored system. So if you can get past that, I just don't like the bait and switch marketing, I guess. Like, it, it, it's hard to get over. But again, we don't officially know until this comes out and I will be the first to let you guys know what happens there when it happens. I was gonna hold this video for Friday for the, uh, the news, but this is just stuff that, you know, it's, it's dropping fast. And you know, I wanna start getting into more tech related news as well, if that's something you guys are interested in. Please comment down below because I'm always looking to feed you guys what you want and I love making these news videos and hopefully you guys enjoy as I'm upgrading the setup here. So with that being said, guys, what do you guys think on this now that it's officially launched on Elegoo's website? Um, was this a nothing burger um, or are you just waiting for Elegoo's official statement when it comes to the United States? I would be shocked if we don't get something this week with them actually launching this. It just seems like every single day that goes by, it's like, why didn't you not say anything? But let's go ahead and yeah, wrap this up. I appreciate you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and comment down below. What are your thoughts? I know a lot of you guys are angry if they don't come out with this upgrade for the Zatar Carbon, but I don't see anything that will prevent them from coming out with it outside of maybe this Atari Carbon having a weak system where the filament sensor is. So there are some things, so I guess that's another thing is that the filament sensor is in a bad location on the Centauri Carbon. So we'll see if that makes the difference. But with that being said, guys, I appreciate you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.